all the privilege would be mine I don't take it for granted Love divine I felt heaven and my world collide Do you have anything on like that? I see your legs and everything. It's terrible. I see my legs. <laughs> Love you. In all my imperfection, I thought I learned my lesson that I'd never be loved by someone like you. You've changed up my direction, but sometimes I still question how I was worth the love of someone any of us who have been fortunate enough to find and express the kind of loving devotion that we're celebrating today knows that what this couple has found in one another is an awesome and beautiful thing. Today you demonstrate your devotion to one another by dedicating yourselves to a life together. By setting forth to honor the marriage vows, your lives, which began on separate paths, will be joined as one. Highs and lows You were with me when it Felt the sunlight in your heart of gold And it's all I've ever wanted It's because of all of you who are present with us and those who are with us in spirit that Connor and Morgan's relationship has strengthened and grown and led them to this very moment. We ask God to bless this union as Connor and Morgan pledge themselves to each other. By the power vested in me by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, I now pronounce that you are husband and wife, you are well and truly married. Please share your first kiss. Connor, you found a great girl, but a few um, advice for you is that Morgan's always right and let her go to Bath and Body Works whenever she wants. Jean and Skip, I hope you know that you raised a truly amazing daughter and I hope you both are proud of yourselves. Thank you for giving me the little sister I always prayed for and allowing me to be a part of your family after all these years and treating me like a second daughter. Morgan, I love you and blood or not, you'll always be my little sister. It's a far reach from you to me. I feel the time and the space between. It's a thousand miles of loneliness. A thousand miles from you. Connor. I used to always kick your butt growing up, but as you've told me time and time again, you are better than me at everything. You're a very special man in more ways than one. You will be a wonderful husband to Morgan and a great father to kids one day. You shake your head now. Two of you have basically been married for years. Now it's official. Um, you know, I wish you guys both a lifetime of happiness. Uh, let's give a toast to Mr. and Mrs. Warner. I'm a thousand miles from Cozy